For the second year running, oh. North London Raiders, well done guys. Jonathan, congratulations on retaining the league. How does it feel? Thank you. Thank you. Um, brilliant. Um, we, we, you know, it's a tough game today, going down to ten men for the whole of the second half. But we're elated to to do, you know, do the business and win, win the title. I think I said to you before um, that it's hard to retain the title. I don't think Hinton have ever done it, and it hasn't been done for like ten, years. ten years or so. Um, so it's tough. It was tough this season, but we've proved with our consistency. And see they're the best team in the division. The boys deserve that, and we're, we're elated. Really are. And with uh, Fayfold uh, folding earlier in the season, um, what would you say about the quality of this year, and how would you compare the title I think, defense? I think obviously it's been a strange year having nine nine teams in it. Uh, if you take away Fayfold, but I think from my perspective, the, the top four or five teams. Three, three, four teams have been stronger than they have been in the last few years. And we're talking Oakwood were the strongest they've ever been this year. Redbridge were very, very strong this year and stronger than last year. Harman at the beginning of the season were very strong. Uh, they've probably yeah, self-admitted they've fallen away a bit. Squad depth does that to you over a, over a season. Um, and then you look at teams like FCT and Lions. They're not easy games. You don't turn up on a Sunday knowing you're going to win those games. Um, and that's been proved by some of the teams they've turned over this year. So um, I think in the 19 year, I think the quality's been quite good. People from the outside will disagree. Uh, you'll have certain sections of the Jewish footballing world that will denigrate the quality of the league. But we're very proud of our achievements and what we've done this year. Um, and I think that's testament to the quality of the league we're playing against. And looking at yourselves, uh, the season overall so far, um, you brought in a couple of pl players over the summer. Who would you say has helped you raise the ball this season? I think I said midweek. Um, that exactly like last year, we're not reliant on one or two people. Um, Stocky's here, he was our top goal scorer last year. He hasn't started a league game, he's played two cup games for us. Um, Laurent Mani, who um, you, you picked as player of the year, and I know he got the, the main player of the year last year, he's played three or four. So we took those two out, who were, I suppose, two of our stronger players last year, and the quality hasn't diminished at all. I think, um, um, I think a main factor behind our success this year is just been depth. Yep. We've had I think we can't, I mean, 27, 27, 27 players, players this year, which is an outrageous amount. Most weeks we've come with one sub maximum, but every different week, no matter who we put in, the, the spine's been the yeah. same. Know, we've been know, able to play know. around with a few here or there, and it's just testament to the boys to just get on with the job. Exactly um, and they know what they're doing, they're organised. Um, a lot of our wins haven't been so glamorous, but you know what, we'll take that at the end of the day. We're, we're the ones at the end uh, with the trophy uh, on a nice sunny Sunday morning. And finally, uh, you've got the double in the bag now. Next week, Peter Morrison final against Hendon, a team you know very well. What are you expecting? Hopefully we can feel the side after yeah. today. Um, so it's bonus week, I think. Yeah, look, we've had 
this will be our third consecutive final against Hendon. Um, they're no marks despite their league position. They will bring everyone back in for the final. They will be at full strength. We know Dave Tyler will be down from, from the university um, and, and all the big guns will be around for them. We'll go out and just enjoy it. Um, we were very good against them last year in the cup final. We've had a good record against them recently and we'll, we'll give it a go as we always do. Um, just hopefully we can get 11 fit men out on the field. If we, if we win it will be a lovely day. If we don't we just won the double double. So nothing can take away from the season and what we've done over the last two years. So as I said it's a bonus next week. If we win the treble then great. If not we're still going to be very happy. You know, this is uh, When we start at the beginning of the season our main aim is the league. Um, and to do that, everything else is, yeah, yeah. you know, well, see same. what happens. One, yeah, and I think you said to me, one last thing, Danny, that you'll probably be interested in, is the fact that yeah. I don't think the double-double, so winning doubles back-to-back, has been done, I think it's been done twice extent. ever. And then the last time was sometime in the 1970s. So it shows how proud we are of that achievement. It is a big achievement. So next week is going to be fun. We're going to enjoy it, but we're playing with no pressure. That's yeah. all we're going to do. Cheers, Dan. All right, thank you. Cheers.